So now that we have an idea of what addition is, we can lead to the question of, well, how do you actually perform an addition? And the basic algorithm for addition, which is ultimately based on the piano postulates, is known as counting on. And this goes back to our first definition of addition from the piano postulates. Every whole number has a successor, which we designate n star. It's the number after n. And we have a couple of rules. n plus 1 is the number after n. And n plus the successor of k is the successor of n plus k. And these come from the piano postulates. And put together, they lead us to what's known as the counting on algorithm for addition, which is n plus k is going to be the kth number after n. So for example, let's uh, take a look at the problem 5 plus 3, and we'll have the problem use counting on to find 5 plus 3. Now again, the thing to notice here is that the problem asks you to use a very specific method, use counting on, and also to do one other thing, to explain your reasoning. If there isn't any other indication, so if the question is find 5 plus 3, I don't care what method you use. But in this particular case, we want to use a specific method. And in addition to just finding the number, we also want to use that method. And we want to explain the reasoning that led to that conclusion. And again, the reason for this is not because it means your conclusion is any better or any worse than before, but the entire rationale between, uh, behind this explain your reasoning really is to remind yourself of what's actually going on. And it's not for any other purpose. It is entirely to say, well, here's what's really going on. And it's a useful and important thing to remember that. So let's take a look at that. 5 plus 3, well, by the counting on algorithm, that's the third number after 5. So I could represent this as I'll start with 5. And let's see, I want the third number after it. So I'll count on 6, 7, 8, and there's my third number, and my complete answer to this question is going to be shown in green. I have indicated, used the specific method, I've explained what my reasoning is, and my reasoning leads me to first, second, third number after 5, 8 is the answer.